In 2008, a group of adults were placed into two groups. One of the groups were tasked with doing an eight week learn the piano course and the other group did absolutely nothing. And the group that did the piano learning course reported higher levels of self-esteem and general well-being. Another study was done with a group of people who are prone to symptoms of depression and they took part in an eight week music therapy course. And at the end of that course, they showed to have reduced symptoms of depression. Learning a musical instrument can have a lot of positive effects. And I think it's something that everyone should be involved in. And I'm going to give you six reasons why I think everyone should be involved in learning music, especially in 2023. One of the biggest things that learning music can do for you is provide a source of stress relief. And this can take many forms. There are lots of studies that show that music helps with insomnia, depression, it reduces your blood pressure, it helps anxiety, it helps your self-esteem, and it can help you with general day-to-day -day stress. And this is for a number of reasons, but most importantly, music is an emotional outlet. And learning anything, especially music, has a certain meditative quality. In other words, the practice of making and learning music helps you just focus Focus on the one thing that you're trying to do at the time. And anecdotally, for me, if I'm feeling particularly stressed because of other things in life or there's too much going on, if I just sit down at the piano and play some music or spend a bit of time focusing on learning a piece, it really does just sort of slow you down and change your mindset. The second thing that music can do for you is improve your mental performance. A group of 60 to 85 year olds were taught an instrument for six months and they were compared to a group of 60 to 85 year olds that didn't. And this group showed to have improved memory and it slowed the onset of things like dementia and Alzheimer's. And another study showed that learning music can enhance the brain function in children. And this is because learning music requires quite a few different things when you are engaging in learning it. You have to retain information, you have to practice an actual motor skill. You have to use the information you've learned creatively and those that learn an instrument have actually shown to have more brain growth and developed more neural pathways than those that don't. And I actually think with any motor physical skill you are developing your brain all the time but learning music specifically requires so many different elements in order to do it that it's just a great way of developing your mental performance. The third reason is self-expression. Playing music increases your creativity, no matter how much you read on a piece of music. There is always an element of interpretation and trying to understand emotions from someone else's music or how to convey emotions in a certain way that you feel yourself in your own music. And ultimately, understanding how someone else has written a piece of music to create a certain effect and make you feel a certain thing helps you understand your own emotions and be able to express yourself in a much better way. The fourth reason is a sense of progression. There are lots of ways in life to feel a sense of progression, be it working your way up the ladder at work, going to the gym, learning a language. And learning an instrument is no different. You can set clear, defined, achievable goals. And it's also shown to improve your patience and your time management skills, which ultimately helps you feel like you're progressing in all other aspects of life. Because by doing something long term, like learning an instrument, your expectations for everything else that you're trying to achieve become more manageable because you've improved your patience and your time management skills. Which takes me on to reason number five, which is that you learn how to learn. When you go through the process of learning a musical instrument and seeing that you are able to achieve and play whatever you want to play, given enough practice and time playing the instrument, you actually find out that learning anything is pretty much exactly the same. It just requires small achievable goals and you'll learn how to delay gratification. Meaning that yes, if you are learning an instrument, you might not be able to play the piece that you've always wanted to play right now, but that's something in the future that you're working towards. And you apply the same methodology to, for example, learning a language. It's the same process. You're taking small chunks, learning small bits of information, knowing that eventually you'll be conversational and you're delaying the gratification. And ultimately, because learning music is quite fun and there doesn't need to be any pressure, when you build up an example of being able to stick to something in your life, it becomes much easier to apply to other things that you want to achieve. The sixth reason that you should learn an instrument in 2023 is social. Learning music is one of those skills where you can very easily do it with someone else and you can also do it for someone else. I've seen a lot of videos online where someone has secretly learned the piano for three months so that they can play it at their wedding. But also, you can play with other people of the same ability and it provides a connection between you and that group of people. A study was done on two groups of teenagers in a school where one group were playing music as part of a social group and one group were not playing music at all. And the study showed that the group of teenagers who played music had much better interpersonal relationships with parents, with teachers and with friends compared to those that did 
didn't do music. And I think there's multiple things going on here and it leads back to all of the other reasons that I've said. You have a better ability to self-express. You have a better sense of community and sense of progression. And this doesn't necessarily mean you have to go and find a group and play with them. There are lots of groups online of people all supporting each other of varying abilities. And this can very easily provide you with a sense of community and social aspect to playing an instrument. Ultimately, learning an instrument is one of those few rare things where you not only improve your emotional intelligence, your ability to deal with stress and your brain function, but you also provide a sense of progression, a sense of community. And it's a skill that can apply to many other aspects of your life. And there's also no set way of learning music, even though there are a lot of people that will lead you to believe you have to do it in a certain way. And one of those ways is learning to play music by ear. And if you are interested in finding out more about how you can do that, then check out this video and I will see you there.